everyone, my name is Eitan Bernath. I'm a teen chef from Teaneck, New Jersey, and I'll be taking over the Feed Feed Snapchat today. My blog is cookwithchefeitan.com, and you should definitely check it out. I post new recipes every Sunday. The recipe that I'll be making today is my spice-crusted fish tacos with a really nice pineapple mango salsa. If you're on Instagram, you should definitely check me out. I'm at Chef Eitan Bernath. Aside from making the food, I really have a big passion also for the food photography. Right, let's start the fish tacos. So the first thing we're going to make is the really bright and fresh mango pineapple salsa. All right, the first thing we're going to do is cut up our pineapple. Next, the mango. I want to teach you a cool quick trick about how to cut a mango. So it's kind of hard to do this with Snapchat, but what we're going to do is first cut like this. Then we're going to cut like this. And remember, we're not going all the way through. Then what you do is you just kind of pop this out. And we're going to use the knife to cut them off easily. There you go. It's that easy. There's nothing left on here. And we have it all cut up already. I'm going to cut a little bit more. Next, I'm going to dice up this purple onion and some jalapeno. All right, while I'm cutting the purple onion and the jalapeno, if you have any questions, just feel free to send me a snap. So the final ingredient we need is cilantro. So let's go out to the garden to go pick some. For the past few years, I have been planting a, um, a garden every summer, um, but this year is the biggest I've done it. My new addition is this huge, I think it's 8 by 6 um, raised bed, and in here I have onions, I've got peppers back here, and tons of tomatoes. I already have some growing in there, and here. I can't wait. Also, I have all my herbs here. I have um, thyme, oregano, curly leaf parsley, flat leaf parsley. This is not doing too well, but that is. And right here I have my cilantro, and I have a ton of it growing here. Alright, let's pick some. I'm back inside, I've chopped my cilantro, and now we're going to add it all into a bowl. Now I'm going to add in some lime zest and lime juice. I also added some salt and pepper, and now we're going to mix. Mmm, that looks so good. Alright, let's put this off to the side, and we're going to start our fish. Alright, now I'm going to show you guys how to make this super easy dry rub for the fish. Let's go. To this bowl, I'm going to add I've mixed up our rub and now we're just going to dump it on our fish and mix it around. You want to rub it in and make sure that every single side of the fish gets fully covered. So I'm heating up a pan with a little bit of olive oil in it and we're going to bring the fish into the pan. We're going to cook it three to four minutes on each side. Alright, so I've cooked my fish and it broke a little bit but it's fine because we're going to flake it onto our tacos anyways and now let's just roast some tortillas. Now I'm going to throw more tortillas onto the fire and flip them. This really gives them a uh, nice charred flavor, and I think it really complements well with the charred flavor on the outside of the fish. And, and you want to be sure to keep flipping so you don't burn one, because I've done that before, trust me, I know. And I just want to get uh, see the outsides nice and toasty. Alright, so everything's ready. So I'm going to head upstairs, I'll, I'll bring you guys with me, and I'll show you where I keep my props, and we'll pick out a plate to plate this on. Sorry that there's not great lighting in here, but here's where I keep my bowls, and here's where I keep my plate. I've also got some cups up there, some baskets, but I think I might want to use this plate for the fish tacos. I'm going to start these tacos off with a layer of sour cream. Then I'm going to flake on some of our beautiful fish. Next, I'm going to spoon on some of my salsa. So I also added some avocado and some more cilantro, and I brought it outside, and I'll show you my setup. First, I want to talk about this big kind of fence thing. So I found this today 
as I was driving with my mom, and she thought it was crazy, but the second I saw it, it was outside on the sidewalk. They just left it there for anyone to take, and it is the perfect backdrop for food photography. Over here I got my soft box, which is going to be my light source, because as you can see outside now, it is almost pitch black. And here's my camera. I like to serve these fish tacos with, as you see over here, a watermelon lime mint mojito. <laughs> Don't worry, it is alcohol free, it's just, I muddle some mint and lime, pour some watermelon juice, some simple syrup, shake it up. Um, in the drink shaker and I rim the glass with some lime zest and chopped up mint sugar, topped it with a little mint and it is perfect. Wow, this was so much fun. So thank you guys so much for watching. So if you guys want to follow me on social media or my blog, I will have some of you guys can screenshot right after this. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you want to take over the feed feed Snapchat, just send them a snap and let them know what you'd like to make. Bye!